Time now for the Pear Channel 5 o'clock news on this Monday evening, December 21st, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins. I your 5 o'clock news and I'm there. Top story at 5 on this Monday evening is after a woman clad her car into Patricia's in Las Vegas Strip, killed at least one person and injured dozens more Sunday night. She drove to the nearby hotel Esther Valley Parker to call emergency responders at 4 today said. In Kabul, Afghanistan, and when the deadliest attacks against American forces in Afghanistan this year, a Taliban suicide bomber on a motorcycle drove to a military convoy near Bagram Air Base on Monday, killing six American soldiers, the United States said. Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, ended his long shot presidential bid on Monday, telling supporters in a web video that he succeeded in changing his conversation about how to fight Islamic State. Hillary Clinton is going to have her hands full in a few months, with a second grandchild, daughter Chelsea Clinton, treated from her verified account that she's Pregnant with her second child. Visitors at SeaWorld Orlando were stranded in bitter Monday at the park's four and foot sky tower for approximately two hours. Riverside, California. Enrique Marquez, who was accused of abetting the husband and wife who killed 14 people wounded 22 hours this month in an attack in San Bernardino, California. Madrid, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy said on Monday that his center's right people's party would like to like minded rivals in a bid. To form a government and after an inconclusive election, but his chance looks slim without support from left wing parties. Shenzhen, China. Rescuers for survivors in the sea of Redmond on Monday, a day after Jordan construction debris engulfed dozens of buildings in this city in southern China, at least this of several men made disasters in recent years to rags. Brussels. The European Union on Monday extended sanctions against Russia for six months, achieving a consensus among the bloc's 28 member nations despite. By the divisions over how long they press a major trading partner over the annexation. Or I got out to go for Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso military court has issued an international arrest warrant for former President Blaise Compaore for the assassination of the country's ex revolutionary leader Thomas Sankara, the tribune and director said on Monday. In Tokyo, Japan's Coast Guard discovered a total of 16 boats of North Korean origin carrying 27 bodies since October, but the cause of the death on board remained unknown. In Seoul, Kim Jong-un's benchmark in North Korea's reforms against Chinese economic policies formulated more than 30 years ago. In Bogota, a top AFRC negotiator said a final peace agreement with the Colombian government will not be signed by the previously agreed March deadline. Pennsylvania's House Court upheld Go Democratic Governor Tom Wolf's afforded Monday to postpone execution of the state, rejecting the challenge from the prosecutions in the state's biggest city of Philadelphia. President Obama accused Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump in an interview aired on Monday, exploiting anger and fear over the economic insecurity among working class men to propel his presidential campaign. In Albany, Governor Andrew M. Cuomo of New York State said on Monday that he will issue conditional pardons for about 10,000 former juvenile offenders who won't. Have those close convictions on employment credit or app applications. In a map report, Oklahoma, Texas man is accused of killing two people while randomly firing his gun, along with an Oklahoma interstate, was charged Monday with first degree murder. They end up in a modern square, the widely revealed head of a pharmaceutical company that screwed the rights of a decades old drug and increased its price more than 50 fold, was described by the FBI. As the company lawyer may have crossed the line. Your stocks went in and closed and finished on Monday with a gain as investors struck off weak to oil prices. The ZP 500 closed. Oil futures ended mostly on Lord Monday, weighed down by a global supply cut. West Texas New Mean crude for February delivery, the most electric contract fell 25 cents to 0.7 to finish at $35.81 cents a barrel. Humans haven't seen a living short no sea snake 15 years, but they were two such snakes swimming along the waters of the western Australian Ningolo Reef. Orlando, Florida, two American astronauts helped move this dog rail car back into place in the International Space Station on Monday, quickly finishing. The primary job in the planet's space walk before moving on to have a housekeeping task. And it's made in a NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Air Force Fitter with a moon glow in the horizon. A new study by NASA in the 
Natural science by nature reveals that climate change is rapidly warming lakes around the world as a finding that were published last Wednesday in the geophysical research letters. The United States government on Monday overturned its 30-year ban on blood donation by gay men saying that they can now donate 12 months after their last sexual contact with another man. Chipotle Mexican Grill in court is still reeling from recent outbreaks to equal the Novartis and those restaurants to not be investigated for a link to a new spate of illnesses in three additional states. Unabended non-profit organization and developed clinical and cost effectiveness of new medicine found the price of cut so smith Klein's new drug for severe asthma should be as much as 76% lower to justify its value on the of the group. Law enforcement and the public health of 40 days have said that the authorities to curb the illicit use of prescription opioids may have fueled the increase in use of heroin in the which is generally cheaper and wider available on the street. And now the New York Stock Market for here at 505. The Dow up 123.07 points at 17 and 251.62. SP5 and up 15.6 points at 2021 point 15. And Nasdaq up 45 and 84 points at 4,968.92. European markets down 110 points. 42 points in the DAX to 10,497.77. FTSE down 17.58 points at 6,034.84. And CC 49.609 points at 4,565.17. Nikkei 89.16 Boto 2 unchanged. Shanghai 36.42.63 up 63.67 points. And HSI 21.791.68 up 36.12 points. Oil market 35.88 cents a barrel down 26 cents. Brent 46.24 cents a barrel down 64 cents. And natural gas 1.929 down. Up 162,000 barrel. Gold markets up 13 points at 1078 per 10. Silver up 159,000 points at 14.255,000 points. And copper up 235,000 points at 2.136. Two US 10 year 2.1952% down 2,000 points. German 10 year 0.5544% unchanged. And Japanese 10 year 0.276% down 1,000 points. FX bond European US dollar 1.0911 down 1,000 point. US dollar Japanese yen 121.17 up 200 zero point. And Great Bear bond US dollar 1.4885 up 7,000 point. In the commodities here, 48 and a quarter in the week down 6 and a half. Soybean 890 and a quarter down 2. Corn 372 and a quarter down 2 and a quarter here. Sugar 4.89 down 21 cents. Coffee 117.45 down 1.55. Cotton 63.20 down 49 cents. Prep price 10.975 down 105,000 point. And cocoa 3,229 down 23. Live cattle 129.15 up 3.625. Clean out 56.725 up 10 cents. And empty cattle 154.60 up 5.85. Okay, very even messages that's mobile accident and mobile vehicles, 195 eastbound, Friday 240. One minor injury, debris scattered in the roadway, one lane get about. Okay, we got some sports news here. Tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the Garden tonight. Take on the Minnesota Timbo Game Time, 7.30 p.m. here. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has been suspended for one game for his actions during Sunday's game against the Carolina Peppers, which he drew three personal foul penalties. Indeed, Wade Boggs, number 26, will be in place upon the right facade at Fenway, along the likes of Carl Yastrzemski, Ted Williams, Bobby Dore, Peter Martinez, of course, Jackie Robinson. Tepe, Arizona, Arizona Cardinals, safety, Tyron Matthew towards right ACL on Sunday night, win over the Philadelphia Eagles, and will miss the rest of the season, Coach Bruce Aaron is not on Monday. With white whiskers fighting the Miss Chin, a bandage across one chicken and tie, scurvy scoop, except butter, the Long-time President of FIFA, Perth Slightly kept on Monday morning Z, along with Michelle Putin, are barred from soccer for eight years. Peter Chell News Times, now 509 on this. Monday evening, it's time for a Trevor Report here. And starting up down and around there, where... Where did James uh, Newport and Mount Hope are just looking good here? 95 in the South Bend Tide Superman. Protected permanent line all the way at the route. 4 in East Greenwich here. 295 in the South Bend Tide Soap before route. 95 in Warwick here. 95 in the North Bend Tide Superman. And where's the only option? Downtown Prominence. 146 in the South Bend Tide Soap before route. 95 in the Downtown Prominence here. 610 connected to Lulzer Ramp. Route 6 in Providence here. Route 295 in the South Bend Tide Soap after route 6 in Johnson all the way. At the situate around Route 12 in Johnson here. 
146 on both ends of the sole from 99 and Lincoln all the way at the North Smithfield here. 24 on the south front side, they did sole from 495 and ran them all the way at the Route 140 in Taunton here. And 195 it's backed up from 140 in Bedford to the excellent scene around 240 in Fairhaven. So expect a lot of delays around that 185. 20 on the north front side, a little slow around the Bourne Bridge, but 20 is looking good from Bourne and Falmouth and Route 6 looking good from Sagamore to Orleans here. 95 on the south front side, it did stop and go from 120 Canton all the way out to Route 295 in Alabama here. 24 on the south front side also slow from 120 Canton all the way out to Route 27 in Brockton here. 29 on the west front side, it is slow from Route 9 in Worcester all the way out to Route 146 here. Route 9 on both ends here in the Fam Natick stretch, it's slow around the Fam Natick Mall area here. Route 1 on the south front side, it is slow from 25 and then we'll square mall all the way out to Bristol Palace around Route. One in the Providence, in the Rhode Island, Massachusetts border, and in Annabelle, due to the shopping traffic here. Mouse parking in the westbound side, they did so from Brighton all the way at the noon and Hippics again from 120 and Western all the way at the Route 9 and Framingham here. Southeast Express in the southbound side, parked up on the pike all the way at the Braintree Split. Southeast Express in the northbound side, so from Dodgers all the way at the Zick Cambridge and 93 in the both ends, it's so ran downtown Boston here. Mass Park in the eastbound side, it is sold from Boston University all the way out to Logan Airport here. 128 on the south. Southbound side, we're getting an accident around. Route 130 in Canton, so expect some delays on 120 in southbound, but Route 20 Walter, I'm out there through the brain tree split air. 120 in the northbound side, so for the split all the way out to 24 in Canton air. And 120 in the northbound side, so from Highland 3 in Needham all the way out to Route 9 in Newton near. Route 2 in the westbound side, it is sold from Left and stretch from 4 to 25 to route 120 due to the next on route 2 westbound, route 128 here. 120 on the northbound side, it's so from Trail Water Wall Fam all the way out to the route 95 in Peabody here. 120 on the southbound side, so from Denver's all the way out to route 95 in Peabody here. Route 1 on the northbound side, it did so from Charleston, uh, Charleston all the way out to route 1 in River here. 93 on the northbound side, it did so from route 1. 20 ridden all the way down to the Zaken Bridge here. 120 on the northbound side to the next round. Route 3 in Burlington, so expect the delays here. Route 3 on the northbound side, so from 120 and ridden all the way up into Route 40 in Charleston. They're doing an accident on Route 3 in the northbound and Bill Rector stretch. And another accident before Route 45 in Lowell. Route 2 in the eastbound side, a little around. Route 111 in Acton Mass. 495 on the southbound side is sold for the Lowell stretch. 93 to the northbound side, it's so from Andover all the way up into Lawrence here. Route 495 on the northbound side, it did so from 20 to Lawrence all the way at the 97 in April. Here, due to some accidents on 495 northbound before Route 97 in April, and another accident on 495 northbound after Route 28 in Lawrence here. 95 on both ends, so from 95 to from 120 to New New Hampshire border, and we got an accident on 495 northbound before Route 97 in April, so expect some delays here. 95 on both ends, so from 195 to Lincoln, good from 120 and Pewdie all the way up in the, the New Hampshire border, up in New Hampshire. Everett and Turpac will get an accident here in Litchfield, so expect some delays here. Another accident here on Everett and Turpac, stepping after Route 293, so expect some delays from 293 all the way out to Manchester Airport in the Everett and Turpac, 93 in the southbound side, a little so after 293 in, in Manchester, New Hampshire, and 293, 93 in the southbound, a gas accident around 293, so expect some delays here. Fall and turn back on the northbound side of the Lulso from Newington to Route 4 in Durham here. 95 on the northbound side of the Lulso around Route 101 in Exeter, New Hampshire here. 95 looking good from York to Augusta via Portland here. And 295 looking good from Portland to Brunswick in Three Port and up in Augusta here. Alright, let's take a look at MBTA alerts here. On the subway system, civil so announcement for expensive model lays due to traffic here, and on the commuter rail, looking good here, and on the ferries, they are doing good. Peter Chell News Time is now 5.14 here, and it is time now for a weather report here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 5.14 p.m. on this Monday evening here.
All right, our current conditions in not Massachusetts at 54 degrees with clear skies, humidity 66%, wind speeds, southwest wind 13, 2 foot above 43 degrees, and visibility up 10 miles an hour here. Okay, look at conditions ran in the region here. It's 52 degrees in Boston, 51 in Beverly and Gloucester, it's 49 in Bedford and Fitchburg, 50 in Lawrence, it's 45 in Worcester, 47 in Sturbridge, 50 in Milford, it's 53 in Norwood, 54 in Tottenham and Plymouth, and New Bedford, 55 in Falmouth, and Morphus Venus, and then take it 50 out in Chatham, 53 in Parsons, 48 in the water temperature, 50 in Providence, 52 in Westlake, 54 in Blockon, 56 in Montauk, 55 in Islip, it's 53 in New York City, 50 in Bridgeport, and New Haven, it's 46 in Denbury, Waterbury, it's 15 in Meriden, it's 49 in Waterford and Windsor Locks, it's 47 in Springfield, Mass, 46 in Greenfield, Mass, 45 in Apple, Massachusetts, 46 in North Adams, Massachusetts, 44 in F. Pittsfield, it's 45 in Albany, New York, it's 44 in Sierra Springs, it's 43 in Rutland, Vermont, 47 in Maine, and 40 in Broadway, Vermont, it's 40 in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 45 out in Key Hampshire, 43 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 49 in National Hampshire, 47 in Manchester and Concord, Hampshire, it's 39 in Lacorne, Hampshire, 48 degrees in Portsmouth, Hampshire, and 43 up in Port Maine, here. Alright, look at that. Current map conditions around in the country shows a cold front from the north of central Mexico, stretching it up to the eastern Texas and up into Illinois emerging with a stage vent up in the Great Lakes and emerging with a warm front from eastern Ontario stretching to southern Quebec and up in extreme up for Maine and down to New Brunswick and the Canadian Maritimes and a number warm front northeast of the Dominican Republic here. On uh, a warm stage front from Alberta and Dane for Saskatchewan emerging with a warm front from central Saskatchewan and Dane for Manitoba and the western Ontario and a pink and a cold and a warm front colliding off the Oregon coast bringing some storminess to Oregon, Washington and Northern California air and we got a front of from Central Oregon down for Nevada air, and a front of from the Southern Tip of California Dan from Northern Baja California, Mexico, and another front of from Western Mexico, and another front of from Western Saskatchewan down for the Rockies and in the Western Plains air, with a low pressure in Southeastern Colorado, and low pressure sits in Western Illinois and North Central Michigan here, and we got four ridges of high pressure, one ridge in the Western Carolinas, another ridge in the Central Plains, another ridge in the Intermountain West, and, and another high pressure ridge in Southeast of British Columbia here. It's 47 degrees in Detroit, 52 in Pittsburgh, it's 58 in Washington, D.C., 57 in Atlanta, 80 in Miami, Florida, 78 in Brownsville, Texas, 72 in Dallas, Texas, it's 32 in Kansas City, 29 in Omaha, Nebraska, 33 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 31 in Chicago, it's 42 in Denver, in Salt Lake City, Utah, 40 in Las Vegas, it's a pair of 60s in Los Angeles and Phoenix, Arizona, 47 in Albuquerque, Mexico, 58 in San Francisco, 39 in Seattle, and 32 degrees in Great Falls, Montana, with a little pressure off the western Washington coast here. Alright, let's take a look at what is going on in the radar. Here is we're seeing patchy bands like rain off the Cape Bounds here in Massachusetts and Atlanta. Rain shots way off the Boston Harbor coast here. Boston Harbor Islands here. And we're seeing up in Maine, we're seeing some line of rain shots from Newport, Maine, stretching to Maine, Maine and stretching to down for Acadia area of Maine and down East Maine. And seeing some spotty rain showers southwest of St. John, New Brunswick, and spotty rain showers in the northwestern portion of Nova Scotia here. And seeing some sleet in the Moosehead region of Maine, and seeing some snow shots up in the northern portion of Maine, and stretching up into eastern Quebec, and stretching up into northern New Brunswick here. And some sleet around Oramukto in New Brunswick here, and some spotty snow sleet and rain showers around upstate New Hampshire, and some snow shots northeast of the Montreal area here, and some spotty snow. No shots of Western Quebec, such as the northeastern portion of Ontario here. And we've seen some spotty rain shots up of Rutland and searching up at the northwest of Massachusetts and searching north of Albany from the freeway from Albany down to Utica and searching up the Adirondack to New York State. And some spotty rain shots from A1 for north of Syracuse, searching up the water town and spotty rain shots southwest of Syracuse and patch rain shots east of the Buffalo area here. And some spotty rain shots southeast of Anaheim, searching in northeastern Pennsylvania here. Zooming in out here, and it shows a line of rain shots from Pennsylvania stretching all the way down to West Virginia, down to the Kentucky, Tennessee, and down to the Gulf States here, with a couple of batches of shots from Louisiana stretching up to Mississippi, northwestern Alabama, and now for western Tennessee here, and some patchy rain shots in northeastern Texas, seven in Arkansas, southeast Missouri, seven in central portion of Illinois, stretching to northern India, and southeast of Michigan around the Detroit area, and some 
Spotty Snow Slain the Rain shots in Northern Michigan with the Ontario here. And seeing some patchy rain shots in North Central Portion of Metro here. And some spotty rain shots around Denver here. And some spotty snow shots in West Central Portion of Colorado. And a spotty rain slated snow shots in North Western Portions of Utah. Stretching up to Idaho, Western Wyoming, up in the Montana. And some spotty snow shots in the Sierra's of California. And up in the Nevada. Some rain slated snow shots in the North Central Portion of Nevada here. And we've seen some spotty rain shots from the San Francisco Bay Area stretching up 101 and the 5 up in the Eureka. And spotty slated snow shots from the mountains of Oregon and western Washington State and eastern portion of Washington. And some spotty rain shots along the Oregon and Washington coast along the I 5 from Portland up to the Seattle and up to Vancouver. Some slated snow shots mixed with it in, in southwestern British Columbia around Vancouver. And some spotty rain shots in southeastern portions of Alaska here. And some spotty snow shots in south central portions of British Columbia here. And the Grand Saturday Loop shows some 9 o'clock from Mexico stretching up into the Canadian Maritimes via the eastern United States here. A lot of great clouds around the 9 4 from Tepet to Daytona Beach here. And Apache clouds from the Great Lakes stretching in the north to the central and central Rockies. Central and northeastern plain states. And Atlanta clouds coming much to the western portion of the country stretching up in the British coming into Alberta here. And Atlanta clouds up in the Saskatchewan here. Alright. Looking at some weather notes here. Water temperature is 48 degrees. December, 9.3 above average in Boston. It's to be a very mild week. It's expected to recognize Christmas Eve. Winter solstice begins then at 11.48 p.m. But the first full day of winter is not going to look like the winter. It's going to look like springtime here. And expecting some scattered light rain on Tuesday here. Okay, look at a forecast discussion here. An active pattern is anticipated over the next several days. Expect unseasonable mountain temperatures to continue with on and off track chances by Thursday. And again next weekend, new term until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning here. 4 p.m. update. Plan to drop wind and bars of headlines in the next hour. Mixon never reached really up to 925 mil bars to the top of the strong jet aside. We'll still see some breezy conditions over the next few hours. With some risk Gusts between 20 and 35 knots, a few shots across Hudson Valley made me make it into the Berkshires, but not just very much in the way of some shots this evening. And while the few gas remains on track for this afternoon here, that warm air infection continues to spread the night, keeping temperatures from dropping off quickly. This is an also in thanks to a cloud covering in deep southwest. Well, in fact, overnight temperatures remain in the 50s across southeast Massachusetts, Cape and as well other location of the state in the low to mid 40s here. And up a level disturbs the move for they pull up from the Great Lakes tonight the other knee and lift increase the very late tonight toward twelve Z. Tuesday appears a brief warm front on a higher day of the valves. Well development in the isolated sky shots across the region and lift northward in the North Hampshire by daybreak because low level moisture will also be getting pulling into the region but late tonight as there are points increase could see some patchy fog development in the old covenants and how widespread fog will be. Alright, let's take a look at a seven day forecast. It goes like this here. For Tonight, we're going to see jet rain mainly after 4 a.m. Clouds got low about 40 degrees, suffers at about 5 to 9 miles an hour in light after midnight here. Winds get good size, 20 miles an hour, chance of precipitation 30%. Tuesday, rain like main before 3 p.m. Patch by good was, clouds got a high barrel, 56 degrees, and light south winds. Become in southwest wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour in the morning, chance of precipitation 6%. New principal month between a quarter and half an inch possible. Tuesday, patch by fog before 10 p.m. Then patch fog after 11 p.m. But was, most clouds got about 40 degrees wind come right to become a most of the coast guys. Southwest are about 6 to 11 miles of coming light and verbal after midnight. There. Wednesday, rain in the afternoon, having 56 degrees. Calm will become an east wind, 6 miles in the afternoon, just patient is 8% new Christmas month between the 10th quarter and inch possible. With that, rain may before 4 a.m., low around 52 degrees, just patient is 9% with a southeast wind about 7 to 9 miles of coming after midnight. There. By Thursday, it's not going to look like Christmas Eve with snow and ground and said some chance of showers and thunderstorms may up to 5 p.m. Most of the are about 66 degrees. Chest base to 30% and Thursday night. Chance of showers before 8 p.m. Most of the about 53 degrees and chest base to 30%. So Santa Claus left it. Wear shorts and flip flops and not wear the coat because it is going to be a mild day here in New England and for Christmas Day. Most of the have about 58 and about 38 degrees. For Saturday, chest rain after 10 a.m. Pots of the South Coast about 49 degrees. Chest base is 50%. So today, rain likely class got about 41 degrees, chest base is 6%. Sunday, chest rain, most class got about 50 degrees, chest base is 30%. Sunday night, 
Both guys got about 33 degrees and the Monday puts us guys about 44 degrees. Here's what a phase of the evening here. A cloudy and a mild day on tonight and taste of spring on the first day of winter tomorrow. Viewers, it will be a good evening and good positive to see you later on the call for late night. Sign up for Port. Have a good evening.